I found a really good stand of fireweed here, right in the city. So I think I'll collect some to practice making some fireweed cordage. Sorry for the traffic noise, I hope you can hear this. This is some pretty impressive growth here. This is, a lot of this is over six feet tall, five to six feet tall. That's a pretty good haul. Hi folks, I'm going to attempt a video to make some cordage out of fireweed that I've collected. It's the first week of October and uh, the stalks are dead and dry. They've gone to seed and the seed is, is uh, almost gone. I've collected some of the seed off here already for another project for playing with uh, uh, fire starter. And this is a response video to the excellent video on fireweed cordage making that Fresh Air did on his channel. Uh, uh, check out Fresh Air's uh, video. I'll put it on the link uh, on the on the description of this video. Lonnie on Fresh Air did a fantastic job in uh, showing how you can separate the fibers from the stock and the uh, reverse twist technique that I'm going to try to do here. By the way, I've never made cordage before, so this is my first time. Um, so I won't, uh, I, I won't explain all the techniques because uh, uh, Lonnie uh, or, or Fresh Air on his channel did a superb job on that. So I'm just going to try to uh, uh, attempt to make some cordage here and we'll see how it goes. So check out uh, Fresh Air's fireweed cordage video for um, how to really do it and I'm going to try here for my first time. So it's the first week of October and I'm finding that the stems are pretty hard and uh, very hard actually. Don't know if you can see that. And uh, breaking with the thumb method to separate the fibers is not working for me. So I discovered a way to do this, I think, with my axe by uh, just tapping lightly to crush the pith in the stem, but not so hard as to um, damage the fibers too much. Okay, my first attempt was a bit of a mess, but I think I have refined the technique. Let's give it a try here. So first I'm going to lightly just crush the pith, and that starts the separation of the fibers from the main stem. I'm going to cut it right there. Right where the branches start. There we go. Now I'm going to attempt to split it all the way down the center with my thumb. So that's working pretty good, I think. I hit a hard part right here, which is where the some of the branches of the seed pods start. Okay. This time I'm going to do like Lonnie showed in break and peel. So 
break and peel back break and peel back so there's there's some nice pieces starting to emerge some of it just comes right off just that light tapping seemed to uh, give it a good start actually these are these are clear so I can break them off so this one is stuck so I'm gonna break and peel this one's oh, that's clear so there's the the fibers coming off Sometimes it's sticking, so we'll break and peel. There we go. There, this is a better. This is a better attempt here. Break and peel. Break and peel. I'll have to edit this film here because it's going to get pretty tedious if just watching this. So there are places where the fibers are separated. So I don't know if I'll be able to strengthen those up in the twist, but we'll see. And I think I'm going to soak these in water too to make them a little more easy to uh, twist up. I'm going to soak these fibers and see if that makes them easier to work with for the twisting. Just let those soak a few minutes and come back. Okay. Like I said, fresh air has an excellent instructional video on how to do this. So I'm twisting away and then going under, twisting, twisting away, me, and then going under, twisting away. I can see this is going to take quite a while at the rate I'm going. This is a lot harder than I thought. This is just my first time doing this. And the, the fiber is very uneven, so maybe I didn't peel it very well, I don't know. I don't think I'm holding it. There, that's better. I'm got to get a good grip on it there before I turn it. Those seem to be easier to work with when it's wet. I've seen folks do it on their on their legs. That's that's what I've got so far. It's not great. So let's see if I can let's see if I can do this. The pants are bucking up here. Watch Ray Mears do this shirt with nettles, it sure looked easy. No, it's not rolling. Oh well. 
I've reached my splice point. Now I, I did find that the one at a time I could sort of start to get a roll on these things. If I did them one at a time instead of two at a time. Although it's sliding on my pants a bit, so there that's better. Gotta really press hard. There we go. That's that's looking better. There. I think I just learned a trick is to pre-roll it before you start twisting. Twist and under, twist and under, twist and under, twist and under. Oh yeah, that's a lot easier. So I gotta do that pre-twist first. There, that's looking better. Well, <laughs> a little bit better. Okay, time for the splice. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna pre-roll it. Okay, here's a piece I just picked out of the water and I pre-rolled it. Which makes it, I think, this is gonna be a little easier to work with, I think. Oh, there's a piece of stem I didn't get out there. Okay, now for the splice. Pre-roll this thing again. It's a little thin there, I'll go where it's thicker. Okay. Twist under. Twist under. Twist under. Yeah, the pre-rolling really, really helps. I'll move it there. Okay. I'm just about done for tonight. For my first ever cordage attempt. Making a royal mess of it. I'll see if I can tie these off. No, actually, I'll just do that and then knot it. a knot gets in the way. I don't know if there's a way to end splice it. There's a there's a messy finishing knot and now that's it. Yeah, that's not as bad as I thought. There's a few uh, I would take my knife and clip off these ends that are sticking out from the splices and the pieces of fiber that that went astray. Now one thing I noticed I got a lot of difference in thickness. It's very thin here. That There's a thin spot probably very weak and then I've got other spots that are very very thick. Look at that one there. That's pretty darn thick. Now if I was in a survival situation, this might be long enough to make a 
make the cord for a Paiute deadfall trap, but I would need many of these to uh, put many traps out in order to catch one thing. That's, uh, that's better than I thought. Like I said, terribly uneven, very too thick there, not thick enough here. So what I just learned is that I need to practice cordage techniques a lot. Now I don't know if because of the time of year um, the fibers are harder to work with this time of year or if they're easier to work with say when they're green, when the plant is green and at its peak of growth it, maybe it's easier to roll these on the leg, peel them off, I don't know. Another thing I learned that I, was that I got various thicknesses of fiber coming off and it would split as well which then makes thicker and thin problems here and of course once you get a bunch of these you could braid them together uh, but that's a lot of work but anyways that's uh, my first attempt at cordage and what do I have here about uh, a foot foot and a bit about 20 inches or so not just under two feet Okay. Practice, practice, practice.